We've come a long way from faces on milk cartons. Now they fill social media and the internet. The pictures and posters still have the same look. Someone is missing and their family is desperate to find them. To sit around and not know that the pain be would bad. be tremendous. There's someone who's been absent in Cherry and Paul Puckett's lives, their daughter Samantha. She was probably four there. Who's been missing since November 2016. Very caring, very loving, and very sweet. And, you know, thought that she could save the world. For the families of the missing, it's living life in the unknown. One with only questions and no answers. They can still see their loved one. They know what they look like. They know their laugh. But all of a sudden, they're just gone. I think we knew when she wasn't home for the holidays with her son that she was gone. This is from 81, 79, 78. Sergeant Tim Means with the Tulsa Police Department is one of three police officers who investigate missing persons. On average, they get around 350 to 450 cases per year. Well, each, each case is different. We look at all the evidence that's there. We have one that's a, a long-term missing person that, for instance, that person just disappeared. He says the majority of people reported missing are found but it's when they're gone for weeks, months, or years. Instead of a missing person's case, it likely becomes a homicide one. Several of these could end up being a homicide. We just don't have the person or, or the information to prove one way or the other. People go missing for a variety of reasons. The most common being mental illness, addiction, or physical and mental abuse, which is what happened to Samantha, according to her parents. But there was absolutely nothing I could do. We had talked. We had discussed, we had cried, we had... Begged. Begged. We had done everything we could do to get her to listen to us. Samantha's boyfriend at the time killed himself when police showed up at his home in December 2016. And so it's really sad. Leaving the Puckets without an answer to their question. Where is their daughter? Every time they find bones or remains somewhere, I mean, you just... You just hope that it could possibly be her. They say they've given up hope that their daughter is alive, but they still want to bring her home. I mean, we have, we don't have her remains, but we have enough to know that our daughter isn't walking back through the door. Maureen Wirtz, Tulsa's Channel 8.